Hello, my name is Crystal. Um, this is the maiden voyage of the Willing Vessel Bod podcast. Hope you are all having a great day today. I am having a fabulous day. I got a mani-pedi this morning, so I'm feeling like a new woman. I'm getting to do some of my favorite things today, which is cooking. Um, we are having friends over for dinner, so I have the amazing smells of the pulled pork going on right now. And then whenever I'm done with this, I will get up and make some yummy desserts and all the sides. So I get to do some of my fun things today. And I am going to jump in and get this podcast recorded. And I have been procrastinating, I will admit, because I am a little bit nervous about what the Lord is calling me to do with this. So, the point of this whole podcast is to honor God. He gives me messages from time to time, and some of those messages are for myself, but others I do feel like He wants me to share, and they're not just for me. So, I am going to do as God is prompting me to do, be a willing vessel, and share those messages with you. I am a wife, mother, Mima to some amazing grandbabies, and I have a job outside of the home. But most importantly, I um, love Jesus, and so that is why I'm starting this. I want to be obedient, and I want to honor what He has given me. So a few weeks ago, I was on my way to work and I was listening to um, this song that just always stirs me. It always brings me to worship and just really touches my heart. And I was seeking the Lord about it because it, it, it's an amazing song and they're an amazing musician. And I know I'm not the only one that is stirred by his music. My friends have all talked about how much they love his songs and, you know, but when it comes down to it, he's not a amazing vocalist. Like he doesn't, I, I mean, don't get me wrong. I love his voice, but he, he doesn't, he's not the most amazing singer I've ever heard, but his voice has a huge impact on not just me, but on others. So I was just praying and asking the Lord, you know, why does his music stir us so much? Um, why, why does it have this impact on me? And I just really felt God say that he is a willing vessel and the Holy Spirit within him stirs the Holy Spirit within you. So that got me to thinking about some other willing vessels that I've had in my life and um, how the impact that they have had on me has been. And the easiest one with this would be the worship team. Every Sunday morning, our worship team does an amazing job um, and they lead us into worship. And it's just such a sweet time with Jesus um, and the Holy Spirit just really fills me up. And it's amazing, but it doesn't start on Sunday morning. Um, they have to come up with the songs that they want to sing. They have to practice those songs. The tech team has to be involved in those practices so that I don't just hear a drum beat but no vocals. Um, so there's a lot that goes into that Sunday morning service to have that impact upon me to lead me um, into that worship. But the first thing that they all have to do, and really the most important thing, is they all have to say yes. They have to say yes to being a willing vessel. They have to say yes to using their talents and abilities um, to do what God has gifted them to and called them to. So have, then I went to my Bible and I wanted to um, think, come up with a few other willing vessel um, examples. And... My favorite is Mary. Mary, she's a young woman. She's unmarried. She is betrothed to Joseph. But an angel visits her and tells her that she is going to become with child. And she has the practical, you know, questions. How can this be? I don't, I've never known a man. Um, but in the end, she says, let it be unto me as you say. And when you think about the cultural implications of that time, they, 
they stoned women for infidelity back then. Um, if you, they even thought that you were immoral, you could be stoned. So for her to be such a willing vessel in that time frame, and knowing that this was not only going to totally unravel her life plans, but it could also end her life. But she had faith and she said, yes, I will be that willing vessel. So after she has, she's carrying Jesus in her womb, she goes and visits her cousin Elizabeth. And Elizabeth is carrying John the Baptist. And whenever Mary comes into contact with Elizabeth, um, the Holy Spirit in Mary stirs the Holy Spirit in um, Elizabeth and John, her babe, leaps in her womb. And I just love this example of how the Holy Spirit within us does impact Holy, the Holy Spirit and other people around us. Part of the reason why Sunday morning, morning service is so impactful is because you are worshiping with other people who um, are allowing themselves to be stirred by the Holy Spirit and allowing the flow of the Holy Spirit within you. And so then that just kind of trickles around the room. And it just, it, it's just a beautiful example of what being a willing vessel can look like. So another time in my life, um, the Holy Spirit was prompted me to do something that really, you know, terrified me. And so I um, was talking to a friend about it and she reminded me that the um, story of the talents in the Bible in Matthew 25, 14 through 30, that it, it is spelt talent, as you would say someone has talent, even though that they are talking about t um, talents as in money. Um, and the story is, you know, that one the, um, gets five talents and he multiplies those five talents into five more talents. And then there's um, the one steward that he has gets two talents and he multiplies that into two, ta two more talents. So has four and then you have the servant that only has one talent and, and it's he buries the talent that is given to him. And then the master returns and the one who now has 10 talents, he's well done, good and faithful servant. And um, the one who has four, you know, now he, he's ple you know, pleased with him. He's multiplied what was given to him. And then the one who has one talent, he says, you, he, he's, he's, your, he's upset. He's like, you lazy servant. Um, why have you not, why have you just brought me what I have given to you? And the servant tell, is, tell, explains to him, basically, he's afraid. He's afraid of the ma his master. So he buried what had been given to him. So it's not an accident that the, this is spelled talent as in talent. Because God doesn't just give us money to steward. He gives us time. He gives us abilities and, and talents that he calls us to steward and to steward well and use for his purposes. So that is why I am doing this podcast. I want to go before the Lord one day and him say, well done, good and faithful servant. I don't want him to be that lazy um, servant. I want to be a vessel for honor, sanctified and useful for the master, prepared for every good work, like in 2 Timothy 2.21. I want to be able to pour out what the Holy Spirit pours into me. And so that is why I, even though putting my thoughts and feelings out there for the world, and he's been actually calling me to do this for a while, and I've been procrastinating because I'm scared and nervous, um, but at the end of the day, I want to be a willing vessel and I want to do what God has called me to do. So I'm starting the Willing Vessel of a podcast. So I want to end today with a few questions. I want to ask you, are you a willing vessel? Are you allowing God to use your talents or are they buried? Are you pouring out what the Holy Spirit has given you? Is God nudging you with this message? I hope that he is. 
I pray that you seek him and see the revelation that he has for you. I pray that um, God is able to use each one of us as he has given us the ability to be used. Um, and I pray that you do something scary for him today or this week. Um, and I just pray that this really blesses you and I will see you again next week. Thank you. Be blessed.